All right, time for our Monday night update. Um, did you, what anything new? You got anything new? So we were we told you guys yesterday that um, that therapy started today. We lied; it wasn't true. Uh, we misunderstood the plan. So today was home health. Uh, home health came, and they gave you the run over, right? You want to tell them what they said? No, why not? Mm -hmm. We got to make this quick, guys, because she's starved. She's hungry. And I, you know what comes after hungry, right? Hangry. Just try to chill. Just think about good things. Just think about Bob. Just think about Bob. Keep it chill, okay? Funny. All right. What's up, Bob? Good to see you. Um, so, yeah. So, they came today, and the, nur the nurse uh, was kind of blown away at, at the state that Jamie's in. Um, and that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. They actually, um, they, they can only go by what's on their report. So when she's reading the report, uh, it's kind of based off of where Jamie was when you left the hospital. Right. So, um, she was blown away at how good she was doing. Um, and that, that makes us feel great because it, it kind of, uh, reaffirms the situation and the, and the choices that we made to bring her home versus sending her to a nursing home. Um, but they said she's doing great. All of her vitals looked great. Um, blood pressure is getting under control. Um, and then she's actually even going to do us a favor. And we were supposed to go out tomorrow or Wednesday and have blood drawn for our family doctor. And she's actually going to come back on Wednesday and draw blood. That way, Jamie doesn't have to leave the house again this week with all the nasty weather that's supposed to be coming. Um, <clears throat> anything else with her? Uh, I, I think you guys can probably see like the, the trach hole. She's down to two regular band-aids covering that up. Um, all of the, the raw spots are healing really nicely. It's itching like crazy, which is a good thing. That means it's healing. Um, she took a shower today. Um, I know that's big news. Like you showered, you don't stink no more. <laughs> but no, we, we don't have a walk-in shower. We have a bathtub. Um, and when she came home on Thursday last week, Wednesday. she came home on Wednesday, but you didn't take a shower after Thursday. Yeah. So Thursday, when you came home, uh, her sister had to like really, really help her to get into the bathtub. Um, and today she was able to just kind of be there to guide her. And, uh, she was able to get into the bathtub on her own strength. Um, she sat in the, sat in the shower chair, um, and basically gave herself her own shower, which is a huge step compared to what it was last time. Last time when she got done, she was like really depending on the oxygen to get her back to normal. Um, you, you said you didn't even have to use the oxygen this time, right? Right. Um, so she didn't have to rely on the oxygen as a backup or anything. So, so that's fantastic. Um, and then they said that tomorrow morning at 9 a.m.? 9.30. 9.30. 9.30 tomorrow, uh, physical therapy, occupation therapy, occupational therapy. Uh, that starts and it sounds like that's, we thought that it was going to be one day a week. Um, according to the, the nurse told you, it sounds like it's going to be two or three days a week, which is fantastic because we were kind of planning on taking whatever they gave her on the day they came and just kind of trying to replicate that a few times a week, just to try to continue to work out versus just doing it once a week. Um, but it sounds like they're actually planning on being here multiple days a week. So, I know I'm looking forward to that because I just want to see how she progresses. Like she's progressing phenomenally just on her own. Um, and you bring a professional into it. That's going to be able to help her and give her things that, uh, can strengthen her. I'm, I'm sure that excites you too. So, um, she's literally sitting on the edge of her chair. She wants out of this chair, albeit an amazing, nice chair that was gifted to us by her brother. She wants out of that daggone thing. So, um, she's ready. She's ready to put the work in and we're excited. We're excited to see what happens next. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else. I guess tonight's really just a, a night of updates. Uh, um, not a whole lot thing. Not a lot. <sighs> English is hard. English is hard, but, um, that's it. I'm going to stop because she's hungry. She, she wants something to eat. And she's the patient. So you know what she chose? This video is not sponsored by Oreo Double Stuffs. 
Hit me up if you want to sponsor the video, Oreo. We like Oreos. Oreos is good. Get the Oreos at the Kroger. So, maybe. Dude, that's true. The White Death is coming. So, get there before the shelves are empty. Because they're pretty close to empty right now. I went tonight. Not a lot on the shelves. So, But, thank you for watching. Thank you for your continued prayers. Uh, we just pray that that God continues to bless you guys um, for pouring your hearts out for us. And uh, we'll, just, we'll just keep plugging away and see what happens tomorrow. We love you guys. Have a great evening. And what's Bob Ross say? God bless. God bless, my friend. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>